hello friends i hope you all are doing great in today's video i am going to discuss about the reticulocyte production index which is also known as ri or rpi normal is two to three now first the formula of the ri is the percentage of retic or must say corrected retic multiplied by hct of patient upon hct of normal and uh, this is the formula of characteristic which is then divided by the maturation factor which i have discussed in my previous video also and uh, here the formula for the um, how to count the maturation factor now the if the ri comes to less than 2 it's called hyperproliferative state and if it's more than 3 then it's hyperproliferative state this is the picture i already discussed in my previous video that the characteristic count formula is the same as i mentioned in my first slide radic multiplied by patient hematocrit divided by normal hematocrit normal hematocrit is considered as the 45 and then we have to count the reticulocyte production index or rpi here is the easiest way to remember the maturation time in days going to this way 15 25 35 45 and the maturation time increases in this direction 1 1.5 2 and 2.5 now the formula is also discussed in previous slide now the application of this is the this is the flow chart from the Harrison first the anemia we have to look for the CBC and the retic count in retic count parameters we will find out the correct retic and the reticulocyte production index as I have mentioned in my first slide, the normal RI is 2 to 3. If it's less than 2, it's hypoproliferative. And if more than 3, it's hyperproliferative. In less than 2, the we have to look for the red cell morphology. It can be normochromic normocytic or microcytic or macrocytic. In normochromic normocytic, it may be due to hyperproliferative state. It can be due to marrow damage due to infiltration or fibrosis. Or any aplasia, IDA, and decreased stimulation of bone marrow, which is due to inflammation, metabolic defect, or renal disease. While in case if the morphology is micro or macrocytic, there is deficiency in maturation, which is either of cytoplasm or nuclear. If cytoplasm defect, there can be the IDA, then the thalassemia and cerebroplastic anemia. And nuclear defects are seen the folate deficiency, B12 deficiency, myelodysplasia. Now, if the index is more than 3, then more than 3 is hyperproliferative. Hyperproliferative is seen mainly in case of hemorrhage or hemolysis, like the blood loss, intravascular hemolysis, metabolic defect, membrane abnormality, any kind of hemoglobinopathies, immune destruction, or fragmentation hemolysis. So, here is the easiest flowchart for the clinical application of RI or RPI, which is very important for the reticulocyte application. Thank you.